Hi, I'm Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today, we are exploring Cecile de Mele's model of social networking and then the networking scorecard. To build a networking program, we first need to plot the landscape. The idea is to target the content to suit the business. So let's have a look at Dimali's four squares. Dimali's model focuses on IT networking opportunities or networking tools, but I think the opportunity to work both online and offline still apply. The four types of model are defined by dividing the map into company communities and individual collaborations, both internally and externally. Integration includes HR intelligence. This is about understanding the networking map, locating talents, employee satisfaction surveys, and employees networking within the organization to avoid them having to do it outside of the enterprise. Social networking experience is offered by many companies. And online, you can see it in the use of intranets. Knowledge management. This includes corporate in innovation, one of the must-haves for IT companies. Business, business development gathers developer groups, especially in the software area. Company, uh, customer company collaborative learning projects can happen via forums or even better, and newer wikis. Loyalty programs, consumer long-term engagement programs can help identify business opportunities through the fine observation of behaviours and feedback. And then brands consolidation. This refers mostly to pure marketing and communication programs. There are things like buzz, where you can share with a close circle of customers some early information or usage to strengthen launch communications. Of course, we also need to ensure that we get a return on the time and the money invested. The networking scorecard helps you focus on what time and money you've invested in networking and what it has returned for you. Using a scorecard to monitor your progress towards your networking goals, you will have an immediate and simple reminder of the most important aspects of networking that you can reference at any point. Let's look at what it says in here. The networking event, the time that was spent, and how much it has cost you to get there and for the event itself. What new connections did you make? What new connections did you want to make? What were the connections made? Have you, what have you done to follow up? What are you planning to follow up? Has anybody requested a connection for you? Is there any interest in referrals? What about your wider network? Could you make connections for others? The networking scorecard keeps the most important activities and information you need to grow your network right in front of you. Over time, you can see how effective certain network events, platforms and activities are in terms of contribution to your specific goals. It will also help you to say no to networking opportunities that are not appropriate for you right now. Sadly, networking is never free. There's always the opportunity cost of being somewhere else or even getting some real work done. A bit of planning doesn't go amiss. So have a go. Download the templates from the Hidden Edge website and whilst you're there, share your stories of what's worked well for you. Until next tea break time, enjoy the rest of this one.